How's it going, everybody? It's Guy Santi back with another video. Today, we'll be doing my updated Season 5 settings. Uh, season 5 just came out, so I thought it'd be perfect to do a settings video. I might do one. I might do a settings video like every new season, just because I feel like I, don't know. I, don't, I feel like not too much is gonna change. Like I usually, I mean, I'm always a I'm a big sensitivity changer. Like I can never stick to one sense. I always gotta change it. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna do an in depth um, settings video. So let's go. Let's, let's get right into it. No messing around. So the video settings. We got my brightness at the 85%. You know, I'm still playing on PS4, so I don't really have anything crazy like that. Um, you know, got a job though, so you know we'll be we'll be working towards PC soon. So let's go. Uh, brightness 85%. Um, user interface contrast. You know, don't use this really. It's just this. I don't know. It just sucks. Color by mode. Do Nope 7. Uh, I was playing with it off for a while, but they made the games like I don't know what season they did it, but. They made the game really bright and everything, and like vibrant, and I just didn't like it, how bright the game was. Felt like I couldn't see, especially during the daytime and during the game. So, yeah, just turned everything down. <clears throat> so we got, yeah, Dune 07. Um, just probably going to be sticking with this. Motion blur off, show PS on. Game settings, you know, <laughs> high ping player, you know, 32 ping. You know, 46, yeah, so I mean, I live in Iowa. It's like right in the right in between any uh, east and west. So I mean, I get pretty good ping on both, I guess. Like 40 ping any west is not that bad. <clears throat> so toggle sprint off, sprint by default on. That's just that way I can auto run. Uh, sprint cancel reloading off. Auto open doors on. Just that way, let's say I'm editing and I edit a door, I can it just auto opens it. I don't have to do any like, you know, I don't gotta I don't gotta open it myself. You know, it just really helps. If I'm like, I don't know, in the middle of a build fight, I make a wrong edit, it just auto opens the door. You know, it doesn't slow my momentum down at all. Um, so yeah. Um, let's get back into this. So hold the swap pickup on. So let's say I have like, I don't know, let's say, you know, I find a shotgun. And the shotgun's in my first slot, but I have an AR in my first slot. So I just hold my, and like, I, I, my inventory isn't like full. So I just, you know, hold my swap button right there just switches it out uh so that's pretty helpful so if i kill somebody and they have a better shotgun than mine i'll just do that if i don't have because i usually don't have every like slot filled uh so yeah there's that um let's go you know toggle targeting off mark danger when targeting on auto pick up weapons off auto sort consumables to the right on that's just that way when I pick up heals it just goes straight to the last slot um, building you know reset building choices on that was more for controller so I mean turbo buildings of course on confirm edit and release I can never use this setting like <clears throat> I'll turn it on for like a day and then like I'll always just end up turning it back off I never I don't know I never stick to playing with it I just I don't know I always turn it back off I don't see the benefit with it and I don't know like I, I just don't see anything uh... contextual tips off invert view off uh... this is just like i don't know stupid stuff replays on these are off though game ui we got hud scale set to seventy one you know i'll just put it on seventy um... so yeah seventy uh... that just makes my map like my map my levels my um... like loadout bar and my health like just all lower uh like smaller um so it just gives me more so i can actually see the game more instead of just seeing all the extra stuff like the map and stuff uh so yeah that just gives me i don't know like more fov of what i'm at like the game um so yeah uh all this stuff doesn't matter really um mouse and keyboard you know, uh, so I took a month break from the game, uh, last season, took a month break, came back, like, the last three days or something, you know, felt really refreshed, uh, I did change my sense, though, um, it was on 11%, I play on 800 DPI, and 11%, that's pretty high sense, I'm still on high sense, I'm around, like, a mid sense now, I tamed it down to 9.5, just feels more comfortable, I feel less, um, I don't know, less flicky, I guess, 
more in control of my building and editing. Um, less likely to make like a mistake. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm still really getting used to it. I've only been playing on the sense for like three days. Um, but yeah, I mean, it feels really good. Um, I don't know, I just feel like this is more of a sense for me. Uh, I feel like playing on crazy high sense like I used to wasn't really my style of play. Uh, but yeah. Uh, you know, targeting sensitivities is just like ARs and stuff. I might turn this down a little bit just because my tracking aim is always a little a little bit off. So, you know, 37.5. Uh, that's just the AR aim. So, I mean, yeah. You always want to make sure you have good tracking. Um, you know, uh, the other sensitivity is scope sensitivity. This is really your, like, sniper sense. That's why I have it so high. So I can hit, like, you know, track with the sniper easier. Lock input method off. Um, this stuff doesn't matter. Controller options, you know, I'm the best controller player around, which you know. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I haven't played controller in over a year. I've been playing keyword and mouse for a year uh, since October, like, 20th or so. Yeah, uh, audio, music 6%, just because, I mean, music's pretty irritating and loud. Um, sound effects 62, dialogue 100, voice chat 100, cinematics 9%, you know, don't want to have them too loud because cinematics are hella loud. 3D headphones on. Uh, that just, I don't know, feels like it brings out, like, the audio more, I can hear more better, whatever. Uh, visual sound effects I have off, I always used to play with them on. But I re recently turned them off like two seasons ago. Uh, just to make everything look better and, you know, uh, make me a better player. And, you know, have better awareness than relying on this, like, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, voice chat on, open mic. Uh, if I ever do play with, with push talk, which I never do. Uh, so, yeah. It's always on open mic, basically. Video channel, field match, party. Uh, all this stuff really doesn't matter. Uh my actual key binds so I recently reset my key binds on accident and then I had to put everything back there's no more double movement in the game I remember last time I explained double movement binds it's just you know two binds to move left and right and that just gives you controller movement um because controller players have the better movement yeah they kinda patch that so you can't really do that anymore which I mean I really don't care I wasn't really too used to my double movement binds anyway uh, and I wasn't ever going to rely on them like most pros did. So, you know, whatever. Uh, WASD, you know, because I did get a new keyboard from my job. Or not from my job, but like off of working, I got a new keyboard. And yeah. So, yeah, I bought the Steel Series Apex Pro. So I no longer have to use uh, RDFG. I can use WASD again. Spacebar, jump, of course. Auto runs on N, left control crouch. Pretty basic. Uh, reload R, you know, everything, uh, my use, slash, like, pick up, whatever, like, open chest, pick up, guns, is, I click down on my scroll wheel, I don't know, pretty fun, I mean, pretty fun, like, pretty comfortable to me, weapon slot, one, you know, mouse wheel up, uh, so I just scroll up on my scroll wheel, and it pulls out my shotguns, just like that, pretty easy, uh, I don't know, I feel like, uh, one of the most important things is having full, like, full movement while, uh, pulling out your shotgun, which with this I do, because it's on my mouse, so, you know, let's say I'm about to, like, let's say I box someone in, uh, you know, wow, I suck, let's say I just, you know, yeah, let's say I box someone in, right, scroll up, pulls out my shotgun, you know, uh, so, yeah, um, what else? I mean, yes, yeah, weapon slot two, two is on two, weapon slot four, I mean, weapon slot three is on four, just because clicking three does not feel comfortable at all to me, I don't know why, I just can't click three, so I have it on four, weapon slot four is on X, weapon slot five is on Z, I've had that for the past year, I haven't changed it since, my building stuff, all the same basically, uh, left control to, you know, crouch while building, uh, walls on Q, floors on C. I hit Q with my in, uh, with my ring finger, C with my uh, pointer finger or index finger. I should be hitting C with my thumb, but I'm one of those players where hitting C is not comfortable with my thumb. Uh, like most player, like some players are really comfortable hitting their thumbs, like clicks. You know, he hits like almost everything with his thumb. 
Me, I'm the other way around. I cannot. I use my pointer finger for most things because I can't use my thumb. Only for space bar and like pressing N and M, and like B. But everything else on the bottom row hits with my index finger. Um, stairs on left shift is with my pinky. Roof is with my front mouth button. Uh, people use like left shift for their roof or cone and then like their mouse button for their stair I cannot do that because whenever whenever I put my mouse button on my stair it just feels like I don't know delayed like pulling out the, like pulling out the stair is delayed and it just doesn't feel comfortable so uh and yeah <clears throat> trap is on the other mouse button place building is the same you know repair building in H uh, rotate building R change build material yeah whatever building edit is on F um yeah, I mean F is just like probably one of the best edit binds in the game. F or E, one of the, or to the two best edit binds in the game. Um, I use throw reset. Um, last when I came back last season, there was a bug going around, and I could not use. And I reset my keybinds right, so I couldn't use scroll reset, which is pretty annoying. I had a default reset, which honestly wasn't that bad. Honestly, I I was get, I actually got pretty good on it and like used to it again. Uh. But I mean, I got scroll reset back, and I've been using that, and it just feels so much better, um, and faster. And I think mean, that's like one of the only advantages keyboard and mouse has to controller. Um, so yeah, ping slash place marker is E. Push to talk is on T. This I don't know what the hell this is. F4 chat enter. Emotes on B. Uh, toggle harvesting tools on tab. The reason why I have it down here, down here instead of just on weapon slot one or whatever it is. Harvesting tool is just because when I like continuously hit tab, it continuously pulls out my pickaxe. It goes from my pickaxe to my weapons, um, and that just I don't know. I've had it like that, and it just feels better. Um, the other way, you know, you can't do it the other way if you have it just set on harvesting tool. So yeah, I have toggle harvesting tool, and so I'm able to just switch between my like shotgun and yeah, and it just feels really good. Uh, it's kind of like how Booger uses switch quick, quick bar, I guess. Um, so yeah, uh, in a sense, it's like that. Um, toggle maps on M. Toggle inventories on G. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. I know I never get confused hitting G on accident to edit, or like hitting G instead of F and then pulling out my inventory instead of editing, just because I've done it for so long where it just feels natural. I used to have my G on cones before I had a good mouse with mouse buttons on it. Uh, yeah, fun fact. Uh, vehicle stuff, all the same. You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't really don't mess with this stuff, so. Yeah. Um, wireless controller settings. Again, I don't play controller, so. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I used to play controller, like, about a year ago. Or actually, yeah, a year plus ago, so. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, and this stuff doesn't really matter either. So yeah, that's just, um, that's, uh, everything. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, um, I don't know, I have really good minds, I feel. Um, if I had, like, if I used both my mouse buttons for building, I'd probably be, uh, better, I don't know. People say, you know, that the best, the best binds are, is you have to have, like, your two mouse buttons bounded to your building lines. I don't think so. Uh, I think one is good enough. I don't know. I feel really comfortable. These are really good binds, really optimal. Um, yeah, and this new keyboard is just so good. And the clicks feel good, and everything feels good about it. It just feels so much crisper. Uh, really excited for the future. Um, the season, what do you guys think about the season? I think it's pretty good. Uh, it's just bring back the pumps, remove, uh, remove the, um, charge shotgun again, yeah, you'll be fine. Great season if it had that, you know, tax are okay. The dragon fire shotgun is pretty bad. Today they brought back the double barrel shotgun. Tactical AR is back, which I'm pretty happy about because that was one of my favorite guns. The tech AR, um, yeah. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um. If you do, please leave a like, subscribe. Um, you know, it really, uh, I'd really appreciate it. So yeah, uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.